Hey everybody, this is Pete Wenzel for AnyBrick and today I'm going to show you how to get rotated bricks so that the logos do not face all in the same direction anymore. How to create your logo on top of the brick studs will not be part of this video. If you're interested in this topic, check out the linked video. If we now look closely at our scene, we will quickly notice that all logos are aligned absolutely identically. Some people might be happy with that, then congratulations and see you in the next video. Well, in my opinion, this uniformity is kind of unattractive and unrealistic. Since I'm particularly interested in getting as close as possible to the real sets, I prefer a little bit more variation. To achieve this, the first thing that came into my mind was the rotation option in the parameter menu. Wait a bit before you duplicate my next steps, please. To do this, simply place the stone on the side in edit mode and play with global set at face or random face settings. We have already done this in the vegetation tutorial, which will be linked. It looks nice, doesn't it? However, we have to tell Blender somehow that we only want to rotate within a 90 degree step size. Now, unfortunately, comes a bit of frustration. If you keyframe these values or insert a driver and take the hero step in the formula, nothing will change. Now, we could write a Python script and have it executed. But then I thought to myself, Phew, can't it be simpler? And I can calm everybody down. Yes, it can be done more easily. It is not the cleanest solution, but it works very well. So we deactivate any rotation again and straighten the vertices. From now on, you can follow my instructions again. Let's duplicate the brick until we have four times the same brick and make sure we move the new ones to the bricks collection again. Now we rotate the stones around z-axis until we have each orientation exactly one time. If we now look at the scene, we see that nothing has changed. This is because we have simply rotated each stone as an object. The stones themselves are still aligned in the same way. Therefore, we have to select all of them and then apply these change to the stones mesh we are object, apply, rotation. If we now look at the scene, we see that our idea was implemented very well. The bricks are now randomly positioned within a 90 degree step size and the landscape no longer looks so uniform. In the next video, I will show you how to change the height increment between different bricks to fit in the typical one-third brick height grid. So, Hit the subscribe button if you want to stay tuned. Now you have reached the end of this video. But this doesn't mean you have to talk to real people. You may be interested in my new video over there. Or you could watch this recommended video. And as a last opportunity, there are many more videos for you at my channel.